G'day. This video is actually being recorded live on Facebook. So obviously you're watching the replay. I want you to type in the number two if you're just watching the replay right now. Because at the end of the day, this is an impromptu video. It's called the Ask and Prosper Show. I don't know what to expect. I don't know who's going to be live. And I'm not sure how it's all going to turn out. Because my mission is to help entrepreneurs like yourself to set up a reliable and lucrative business that is profitable and enjoyable. Now, it looks like the live section of the video is about to commence. I'm going to be um, introducing the live people right now. So just type in number two if you're watching the replay. Now, good day, Scott Keating and good day, Jim. Thank you all so much for tuning in to the Ask and Prosper show. And I see Paul Carroll is also watching. Now, today's show is kind of different. Every Friday, I sit here and I answer your questions. The reason being, throughout the week when we do the lunch and learn, all I'm doing is just maybe, um, you know, regurgitating stuff or trying to teach you to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And I do acknowledge that, um, you know, you might have questions, you might have personal stuff that you want addressed um, regarding your business. So that's the reason why I'm going to be sitting here for the next hour answering every single question that you might have because you know what? I believe that, um, you know, if you're running an online business, it should be profitable and enjoyable. And I also believe that if you've got a business, you should be able to create for and relate uh, to those you're going to be demanding money off of. So if you've got any questions regarding how you two can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. If you've got any questions regarding, um, you know, the online prosperity blueprint, where, you know, how to capture the right kind of leads, how to put out content out there, how to convert those leads, and how to actually connect with the people once you have gotten, um, you know, them into your, you know, either it's your mailing list or your blogs or whatever it is, because there's, there's always that step of getting people in and then trying to convert them into customers, all right? So the reason why I think I'm the best suited for this is because I lead a team of very successful digital marketing, um, you know, uh, consultants here at Live Long Digital, where our business is to grow your business, all right? And we do this essentially through digital marketing strategies that we charge, um, you know, and also we have recently created what is going to be the biggest, um, you know, online business directory, the Australian Business Online Directory. So if you haven't heard about it, type in DIR and I will be shooting you through a link of how you can get onto the directory, um, you know, soon after this show. Now, Tabby Richie, I see you've just tuned in. Hop 2018 is looking fantastic and perfect for you so far. Mona Lisa Lewis, thank you so much for tuning in. Today is the Friday Ask and Prosper show. So if you've got any questions regarding how you can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable, I will be fielding all those questions today, um, you know, so that we can actually help you by actually helping you. There's no point in me sitting um, every day, Monday to Thursday and just, you know, you know, sort of impart the, the information without us actually implementing that information and also asking if it is actually, um, you know, helpful. Now, I see Duncan Musaka has also tuned in. Thank you so much, buddy, um, for doing that. You see, the thing that I do within my business is I help you, um, you know, generate leads so that, um, you know, first of all, your business is profitable and enjoyable and so that we can also optimize your business for growth and also for profit. So I will be helping you earn more money with less struggle. So if there are any questions pertaining to that aspect, how you can actually run a business, how you can actually make a profit, how you can actually, um, you know, connect and relate to your audience, all of those things a lot of people have a lot of problems with. Because if you are not having problems with that, then obviously you will be succeeding and we will be reading about you. So it looks like everyone does have problems like that. So I want you to start typing those questions questions. If you've got anything that you think I might be able to answer you, or even if I don't, I will take it down and research with the team. Because like uh, what Art Williams says, all you can do is all you can do. All right. I see Langton Shubi has just tuned in. Baba Zuri say, I'm hoping 2018 is looking great for you guys and that um, your businesses are profitable 
and you're actually enjoying working in them, all right? So basically today, this is the Ask and Prosper show where we essentially um, I sit down here for the next one hour answering all the questions that you might have, all right? And I also help you build personal systems within your business so that your business can actually start operating on autopilot. So if you've got any questions, I really want to inspire you to do the things that inspire yourself so that you can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I see uh, Langton, and I also see Julie is uh, tuning in. Just type in any question that you might have, um, something you might have heard me speaking about, something you might have heard in the news lately, or something that might be directly pertaining to your business. Today, we're opening up the question and answer segment of the Prosper, Ask and Prosper show. Okay, so this is every single Friday from 2 p.m. AEST up until 3 p.m. AEST. We sit around here and I answer every question that you might have. And if you make it till the end of this video, can you just please share this? Because at the end of the day, some people might benefit from the questions you might ask. So it's also going to be helping a lot more people, um, you know, than... Um, um, you know, than the ones that are actually watching live right now. So I will maybe start off this whole thing while we're waiting for you to come up with your own questions. A lot of people ask me, how do I get traffic, um, you know, on, on my website? And half of the time, the things that I would want to say is, you really got to create for and relate to the people you're going to be demanding money off of. I see Robert has just tuned in. Thank you so much, my man, for tuning in. You do understand today is Friday and it's the Ask and Prosper show where we sit around here for the next one hour answering every question that you might have and having fun doing that, all right? So if you've got any questions regarding, you know, how to start, scale, and grow a business online that's profitable and you actually enjoy working in it, let a brother know, okay? So it might be um, pertaining to how to engage that audience, how to educate them, all of those things. I'm happy to, um, you know, help you navigate this whole online jungle. Now, before I started the show today, I was reading um, about Facebook um, how they are limiting the reach of the pages, all right? So what does that mean for you as an online business person? I see Godfrey Gomba has just tuned in. Let's go to his question. Did he say, go, Baba? Very good to actually catch you live right now. Now, what Godfrey says, website and Facebook, which one is more effective? All right, so... That's a very, very good question, um, Godfrey. When you've got your own website, that's your own platform where you can bring traffic off from Facebook. Now, Facebook is, um, is that universal place where everybody has an account, but you don't own that traffic. But if you then bring them across to your website, you have every right to either ask permission from them so that you can start relating to them or sell to them, right? If you're just relying on Facebook, um, you, you, you would have noticed that um, Facebook has put up, um, I think the, it's called... Um, uh, connect, I mean, closer together. That's the next campaign that they are going to be working on where they are limiting the reach of Facebook pages because they want people to actually connect, all right? So if you're going to base your business just off of Facebook, you are trading on dangerous ground. What you're doing there is you're using borrowed time, borrowed traffic, and you don't own any of those transactions that happen up until you bring people to your website where you can build them, where you can really put content out there, etc., etc. Now, if you're only relying on Facebook, what happens is Facebook does not want you taking traffic off of them. They want people to remain within their ecosystem. So that's the reason why they're limiting, uh, you know, the reach of pages. So I'll suggest that you have a social media presence, but it bleeds into a website that you have absolute control of the content, that you have absolute control of how you communicate to your prospects. Now, Gomba, let me know if I actually answered your question there. And I see Gift is tuning in. Steven Seden, how are you doing, my brother? Um, I really enjoy our back 
um, uh, uh, behind the scenes chats, you know, just motivating each other as we go along. Because like that status that I put up there, Stephen, we are just doing this because of the love of it. We're doing this not for the money, but we're actually doing it because other people really need to be helped. Now, Nicole Lyons, thank you so much for tuning in. This is another episode, actually the first episode of the Pro Ask and Prosper show 2018. So you know what to do. Ask the questions that are relevant to how to make your business profitable and enjoyable. Now, Godfrey Gomba says, yes, thank you. How do you thank link your Facebook to the website? Okay, how do you link your Facebook to the website? All right. Uh, okay, so basically, it depends on what platform you're using. If you're using uh, WordPress or if you're using Wix or whatever platform, can you type in and let me know what platform you're using for your website? There's an easy way of you linking your, um, your websites to, your, um, to, 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 to Facebook. And also, on Facebook, if you're using a page or if you're using a private profile, you can still put that link um, to your website in the introductory section, all right? I don't know if you know the part that I'm talking about. If it's a private profile, there's your picture, and then there's a, a place where you can put links on there, so you can link back your website to your Facebook. So let me know there, uh, Godfrey, if you're using Facebook as a page or as a private profile. That way I will be able to actually um, direct you towards where to put um, your website link so that you know you, the, the, the both of them can actually be working in unison, all right? Because half of the time, like what I'm saying really, you really need to go where the traffic is, which is the social media site, Facebook, but you need to bring them back home to where you can feed them with your content, where you can educate them, and where you can actually inspire them and provide them with value. Because once people are on Facebook, they are too distracted. They are not in the mood to buy or purchase or listen very much. So you really want to make sure you're controlling the narrative. And the only way you can do that is by owning that traffic that then comes onto your um, website. And when they come to your website, figure out a way of um, getting their email address so that you constantly are in touch with them through, um, you know, your newsletter or whichever way with your email campaigning, all right? So let me know what stage of your business you are there, Godfrey, because at the end of the day, I really want to make sure that you are understanding how Facebook only happens to be a traffic um, um, you know, traffic area where you draw traffic and put them to a platform that you actually own and that you control. You control the narrative. You control how your brand is represented from your website, all right? That's the only thing that you can control. When people are on Facebook, they're just browsing, they're just checking. So you actually do not have a whole lot, um, you know, you don't have a whole lot, um, of control how they how they move around or what else happens to them so let me know if this answer was correct i mean not correct i know it is if it actually answered your um particular question they got free and thank you so much for that question and um and um those that are watching right now if you are actually getting value from this just Give us some love, all right? I've got my own um, emojis going on there. Just give us some love because it's, um, you know, when, when somebody is live like this, it's there's so much that could happen, you know, and there's so many vulnerabilities. So your support is greatly appreciated. And let us know, um, you know, um, if you've got any other questions right there. Because like I always say, guys, like I always say, I really want to help you generate a lot more leads and basically, um, you know, work around your business so that it's profitable and you're actually enjoying it. All right. Um, while we're waiting for the questions to actually come in, there's one thing that a lot of people don't realize. It takes 21 years to be actually 21 years old. All right. So if whatever you're going to be doing within your business, deploy patience, all right? Because patience is a virtue. What you're doing when you're creating a business is you're changing people's habits, all right? Do you know how long it takes to create a habit? Can you type in the number if you actually know how long it takes to create a habit? If you know, let me know how, how many days does it actually take to constitute and create a habit? 
all right? Because what you're doing is you're helping or you're making people change their habits, the way they um, consume information, the way they interact with, with other businesses, the way they see themselves and their worldview, all right? So if you're running a business, your business never existed in their head, it never existed in their psyche up until you came around. Now, it takes 21 days actually to formulate a habit for it to stick. But for a character to come through, Robert, that's when you need 60 to 90 days for it to actually become a character. You know, so at the end of the day, so don't even anticipate that just because people are watching your stuff, just because people are seeing or listening to you every single day and maybe sending you some love or whatever it is, it doesn't mean they're paying attention, all right? You have to earn that attention. So that's why when you're in a crowded space like Facebook, you really have to command that attention and bring them across to your website where you can actually engage with them, where you can actually educate them, inspire them, provide them with value and position yourself as one of the people that could actually help them by actually helping them, all right? So I'm really hoping that we are enjoying this show so far. Give us a bit of love and thank you so much, Nicole, um, you know, for um, for the love right there. And if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask them. That's the purpose of this show today, all right? Um, while we're waiting for the answers to come through, I just want to make sure that we are as fluid as possible. Um, all right, now Robert says, is there one thing that is universally understood uh, is is that I am a character? All right, <laughs> Robert, old dude, is actually a character for sure. Yes, and if anybody else is uh, sitting around here, if ever you get bored, connect with Robert. He sits around on Zoom and he's just chatting to people and figuring out what's going on with them, etc., etc. And I find that very, um, you know, um, you know, very soothing because at the end of the day, we seek a connection as human beings. We are always seeking to belong. We're always seeking to find other people that have the same worldview as us. We're always seeking to find other people that see things the way we do. That way we can actually um, relate to them. So if you ever get bored or you, 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 you lose your mojo or you lose your momentum, Robert, if you can put a link to one of your sessions the next time or whenever we're finished with this show so that people can join you whenever you do, um, you know, your uh, sit down, um, you know, hangouts and, 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 and you're just talking life in general with people, which I find very, very soothing. All right. One thing that a lot of people forget is our customers are people too. All right. They're humans too. They're humans like you and me with blood flowing through their veins. They're not a hashtag. They're not traffic. All right. So when you go out to deliberately look for people that are going to be paying you or that are going to be parting with their wallet, you need to delight them. Why should they go with you instead of going with Sally down the road? Why should they go with you instead of going with Robert or instead of going with Nicole? All right. So, you know, when, whenever you have started a business, be human first before you um, start thinking of being the business person. All right. People already have whatever it is that they want in life. What you're only doing is, you know, connecting your story so that they also can find connection and bond as human beings. All right. At the end of the day, I'll tell you something. You know, we might think that we are civilized. We are well advanced than the cavemen, but we're still using the cavemen brain. All right. That's why our babies, when you hug them and when you hold them close, they they feel protected. They feel calm. All right. And back in the cavemen days, if you veered out of, you know, the, um, the, 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 the society, you are left on your own. You have no protection. You have no food. You have no source of belonging. You have no homeostasis. All right. Even though we're living in apartments, we're driving our Ferraris, we are always doing that so that we get either the attention of the next person, the approval of the other person or a connection with people that also own what we own. So that's what your customers are coming to you for. Don't deprive them of the attention. Don't deprive them of the connectivity they must have with you. 
No matter how big you become. When somebody waits in line just because you're telling them your call is important to us. If it was important, you would have picked it up the moment it started ringing. All right. So never lose that connection with your customers. And the more you wow your customers, the more they talk about you. It's becoming more and more expensive to advertise. It's becoming more and more expensive to be heard because attention only goes to those people that actually deserve it. Have you earned attention today? Have you done something to wow your customers? Because every time you put out your hand to say, hey, Mr. Customer, pay me. Ask yourself, what have I done to deserve this? So if you are wowing your customers, they might not be your customer today. But that doesn't mean they're not your customer tomorrow. All right. And I see Ansley is in the house. Thank you so much, Ansley. I was actually, I actually finished reading your book. I actually finished reading your book. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I put it away somewhere. <laughs> Thank you so much for um, the surprise present that you sent through. Absolutely enjoyed it. All right. Um, and today, this is the Ask and Prosper show, the Friday show, um, where we sit around for an hour, where I will be answering any questions you might be having regarding your business and how you can be profitable and how you can enjoy it. And honestly, yeah, have a wealthy year ahead. That's always, that's all I'm always saying. And the last thing I was talking about, guys, just delight the customers that you have. Whether they're paying you today or in five months or in five years, the idea of warming your customer is a big one to whoever owns a business. I think there's a um, Chinese statement that says, he who does not smile should not open a shop. Even if you're behind the scenes like this, people want to know you. People want to discover, are you the right person that can fulfill their need? People are always seeking experiences. People are always seeking to belong. So you need to be providing these endless experiences so it's very, very important to actually woe your customers. G'day, Mike James. How's it going, my man? Thank you so much for tuning in. And as you know, this is the Ask and Prosper show. Whenever you've got any questions, I'll answer them. Because I want that your business is profitable and enjoyable. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Yes, yes, Mike. Bring it on. And Ansley says, lol, yes, that is so true. There are so many grumpy people behind the counters these days. It's not going to help you at all. It's definitely not going to help you because that person would rather make a purchase online. And guess what? Whatever you're selling, somebody online has a shopping cart for it. So don't get too cocky. Don't get too excited thinking that, you know, people would never shop around. They're actually really being nice by paying you attention. So, you know, if you're not going to reciprocate, then obviously that's going to go. You know, I remember I read somewhere where they said uh, Microsoft, uh, Bill Gates, at some point, he sat in the call center and he was taking calls for complaints. And, th and then there was a report that came back and he had a pseudonym. I think he called himself John or something like that. And when he sat in the call center, people, people, people actually responded saying, um, five stars for this service. Can you imagine a billionaire sitting in the call center and taking calls? Now, you haven't even made your first six figures yet, right? What stops you from being human first to actually answer your customers' questions, queries, or uh, problems? Now, Mike says, what would you say to those that don't believe you can make money online? First of all, I would say, if you don't believe it, then it's not going to happen for you. And second of all, I would say you can make money if you are actually patient because patience is a virtue. Um, you know, it, it, it takes 21 years to actually be 21 years old. All right. So at the end of the day, some people don't make money online because they're not patient enough. They're not providing value because the market pays you in direct proportion to the value you're putting out there in the marketplace. So it depends on who you are, what you're selling and who needs it. And are the people willing and able to pay and purchase those things that you're selling? And yes, you will be able to make some kind of income off uh, online. All right. So thank you so much for that question there, Mike. Mike James, thank them and show them that you can. <laughs> Absolutely. That's also yet another way. You know what I mean? Because you're dealing with people, you're dealing with customers, all right? So yes, for people to part with their money, you really got to show them you are the person that can help them, um, you know, uh, 
you know, alleviate that pain. So in order for you to actually make a lot of money online, identify if there's a need for what you're selling. Identify if the people that have that need would rather have that problem solved. Identify, are you willing and able to solve that problem yourself? And once you are willing and able to solve that problem, solve it for those that are willing and able to pay for it. And that's when transactions start happening. That's when people start exchanging value for money. But you got to put value out there in the market. You got to let people know that you are the person that can help them. Because at the end of the day, people would pay top dollar for running away from whatever pain they might have. Imagine if you had a toothache. Are you going to wait for somebody to say, oh, just chew this gum? Or would you pay $1,000 to get that tooth uh, taken out? All right. So people would do the, 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 the most to get, um, you know, whatever pain they might have. So find out, are you the person that can take that pain away from that, um, you know, customer? Or is that pain so painful that that person really cannot sleep with it, that they're willing to pay whatever, do whatever to get rid of that pain? Because there are some pains that some people can live without. Do you know what I mean? I can live without wearing a tie. I can live without wearing a shirt. So if you're selling things that are not really, really needed, find a way of creating that demand. But good luck. You can hardly create demand. Go for the things that are definitely needed, things that you are willing and able to continuously and consistently deliver value on. Because people are also tired of grand opening, grand closing. People are tired of one-click wonders. So maybe some people are not making money because they're not patient enough or they're deploying things that people don't want to pay top dollar for. Or maybe the products that you're selling is doesn't have that much, um, you know, um, what do you call it? You know, that uh, quick return. All right, find out how consistently. Is it like toothpaste that needs to be used every single day? Or is it like... Um, a yacht that can only be a one-off purchase and you have to constantly find new customers. So find out what's your business model. What are you exactly selling and who needs it and what is it that people can actually, um, you know, um, uh, be, um, what can I say, what people can actually pay for. All right. And if you enjoyed that answer, show us some love. Look at my own emojis right there. All right. Um, Nicole says, I've been tapping into offline marketing. All right, tell me what you've been doing because offline marketing really involves smiling and being the best version of yourself, all right? So let me know what you're doing. Let me know what's going on. Even people like Warren Buffett, you know, even people like Warren Buffett, they actually believe in having a stringent model of, uh, in business that is going to be needed over and over and over and over again. That's why he invests in company like Coca-Cola. That's why he invests in companies that people are going to constantly want that product. So you should do the toothpaste test. Are people going to be wanting to come once a month or at least recurring in order to get that product? Because if people just buy it once off, then that thing is a commodity. And once it's a commodity, it's going to be hard for you to actually stand out because you know what? In the market, anybody else can, uh, can deliver on that product. So if you really want to make money online, make sure your promises are, um, you know, you've got a different value proposition that not a lot of people, um, you know, can also fulfill in the market. All right? Or you can make a bit of money, but it's not going to be consistent. So it depends now on what your long-term goals are and whatever you do whatever you're going to be doing make sure you delight your customers always exceed customers expectations no matter what that's the most important reason why people come to you in the first place because whatever you're selling they can get anywhere else and once you've delighted and once you've wowed a customer i assure you i assure you there will be a customer for life and that would then constitute you actually making real money online. You know, whenever you have a customer coming to your website or your website, have them walk outside the door thinking, oh my God, I have never had any better experience from a human being. And they'll come back and buy 500 more products from your product line. 
you know. And Anthony says, by the way, absolutely love the layout and style of the Australian Business Online Directory. It looks fabulous and has a lot of features. Everybody should be jumping on board. <laughs> absolutely. The reason is, honestly, I don't know if you've noticed, Facebook is actually going to be cutting down on, um, you know, uh, page reach. So I, I know about that a long time ago, and that's the reason why I'm putting out a feature reach product that's going to be helping online businesses in Australia to actually create for and relate to an audience that's targeted. All right. So yes, it's going to be growing and I really appreciate that you have taken it on board and I really appreciate that, um, you know, you're jumping on because people are so going to be frustrated by the way Facebook is going to be, um, you know, in the algorithm there. So that's the reason why I created that product. I knew it was going to be needed, so I spent the whole of last year creating something I wanted to use too. So thank you so much for acknowledging that. I see Matthew Peck has just tuned in. Thank you so much, buddy. This is the Ask and Prosper show. So you ask any questions regarding how you can make your business profitable and enjoyable, and I will be more than happy to actually answer them. All right. So one of the other things that I also notice, guys, uh, when people are doing work is consistency. Consistency is lacking with a lot of business people. All right. We might assume that people are paying attention, but they're not. But then there's one other thing. Even if they are paying attention, if they see your thing once, what they really, really want is when they come back, they're not going to have to jump through hurdles and relearn your thing again. So if they see you smiling all the time, stay consistent with that because the moment you change that smile, guess what's going to happen? People don't want to learn new things. So you are making them work and you don't want that with um, you know customers that have so much choice. And don't you ever forget that there is so much choice out there. It's ridiculous. All right. The world right now, as we know, it has over 7 billion people. And only a fraction of them are on social media or log into any social media site. Now, can you imagine when the whole world is all connected? We are just a fragment in the universe. So you want to make sure whoever you deal with, they are not going to have to jump through hoops in order to be in touch with you. Those days are gone. Those days are gone where you are not in touch, um, you know, with your audience. You're not in touch with whoever is paying you money. All right. So I really, 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 really want that you um, you figure out if you're going to be going into business. Is this the thing that you absolutely want? And are you going to be maintaining it and consistent with it enough? Because as you know, a customer goes on a journey. Right. So the journey might start off from, um, you know, them discovering who you are and not even caring. And then maybe they see some of your stuff after six to eight times and then they start paying a bit of attention. But, you know, people's attention span is going down, down, down these days. So you want to consistently be there. You want to show up. You want to consistently be shipping your content so that you are providing for and creating for and relating to the people that you're going to be paying, um, you know, you're going to be demanding money off of. All right. So every single day you wake up, you are starting the cycle for a customer who's just hearing about you for the first time. So every day you don't put out any content, every day you don't smile, every day you don't create and relate for your audience, you are missing out on somebody's cycle to start who's going to make a purchase from you on 24 January in 2019. So you are, you're cheating your future self, you're cheating your future business person by not working today. I mean, it's okay to wake up thinking, oh, I'm just, oh... What am I going to do with myself? But just think, every single day you show up on either social media, in either your newsletters or whatever it is that you do to create for your, your, your audience, you're consistent enough that they could always come back to your content. How many times have you ever heard of somebody and then you ignore them then, but then one day something just happens, you find their um, you know, content elsewhere and then you go in and check them out. All right? Um, Robert says yesterday you were talking about checking yourself out online. I did research those links. 
Um, I was also looking for evidence of unhappy former visitors to my hangouts. Okay, let me know how you went with that. Obviously, consistently checking yourself because people would always um, also check you out just to see, um, you know, if you're consistent enough. So consistency is just the hallmark of whatever you're going to be doing with your life. Good day, Christy. How are you doing? All right. How many times? Because people, people hate change. All right. People don't like to have to learn new things. People just don't like to, their, you know, status quo to be unraveled. You know, but I'm not saying have so many rituals that you can't even hang out with your homies, you know, but just be different enough that people can actually notice that, oh my God, that must be Prosper. That must be Kirsty. That must be Robert. All right. Robert says, I could find nothing with my personal name, but with the name Robert Old Dude, I was on the top. Absolutely. So maintain that, you know, ask yourself the question, who do you do? Who do you want people to know you as? Who do you want to be known as and what do you want to be known for? So that when people are searching and checking out for you, there's certain things that they just gravitate to and it leads um, you know, them straight to your content. Now, Robert says, um, it was my Instagram that was number one. Absolutely. So make sure that whatever photos that you're putting out there are representing the Robert old dude that you want people to know whenever uh, you know, they're going to be searching for you. And just stay on top of these things. Stay on top of your game. You know? Do you know what I mean? And, and once you start doing things that are consistent, it is difficult. But you're actually helping yourself because the more you do something, the more your brain thinks it's normal and the more you do it without even thinking. All right? So, you know, if, if it's about writing or if it's about doing Facebook lives like this, I do it without even thinking. Right now, we're just talking, right? I'm just, yeah, going to be blabbering for about the next one hour, answering whatever questions I might have, or you might have, or you might present to me. Because I am actually exercising my muscle to answer questions whenever they come, um, you know, from clients that are actually going to be paying me real money. Now, Nicole says, how do you approach your business opportunity to those you meet offline and are unfamiliar with the laptop lifestyle. It will be, okay, L let me tell you something, Nicole. It's easier to sell to the people that are already converted. Can you imagine trying to tell me, um, you know, how to, yeah, you know, trying to, what can I say? Because if, 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 if you can't sell me a dress, no matter how good the dress is, Nicole, because I'm never going to wear a dress, I am male. So figure out who exactly is your client. Do they really need the products that you are selling to them? Do you know what I mean? And then and, and make sure that this person actually identifies the need for that said product. Because you might be able to convince them today, but are they going to buy tomorrow again? All right? Because if they don't need it, they're not going to need it in five days. They're not going to need it in five weeks, no matter how much you twist their arm. Sell to the already converted. All right, it might be funny to say, but there's no way you can sell SEO services to somebody who doesn't yet have a website. How, what are they going to need it for? You can't sell tires to somebody who doesn't have a car. What are they going to need the tires for? All right, so find the people that are already doing whatever you, you want to present them with and then figure out, do they need something extra or is whatever you're going to present to them going to be better than what they currently have? Um, Ansley says you need to work out who your target avatar is first because not everyone is your target market. Absolutely. Not everyone is your customer. All right. Sell to the already converted. You can't go about selling tires to people that take public transport. What are they going to need the tires for? You're just annoying them. All right, so you don't want to be known as the annoying salesperson who is human spam. You want to be known as a person who is helping people by actually helping them. Why would they need your product and what, what are they missing out on if they don't take on your product? All right, because if somebody is going to miss out on earning maybe a thousand dollars a week, do they actually need that one thousand dollars? So figure out what is missing within their life that your vehicle can then help them get to the desired position. Because just having a product 
is not the be it and end all. You need to make sure that that person is willing and able to actually make a purchase because you're only going to frustrate yourself. And you're only going to increase the amount of people that hate you. Can you imagine if somebody comes to you and starts selling you, um, you know, things that you don't want? It, it also goes for people that accept ads on their websites. You see, if, if somebody's married and they go on your website and then they start getting ads from, you know, those Chinese or Russian mail order brides, you know what happens? You know what happens? They click away. So you want to make sure you understand the psyche of the customer you're dealing with. You want to understand what's in it for them. Why would they go out of their way to learn a new habit in which you're presenting them to? All right. Ashley says, Nicole, through education and entertainment also, as they start to learn what is um, what it is that you do and it may or may not fit for them. You really got to sell to the already converted. There's no way you're going to sell fitness classes to somebody who really enjoys eating from McDonald's. They have to see it in their own eyes first that I actually need to be fit. If they don't see it, there's no way they're going to continue doing whatever it is that you're selling them. So it's a waste of your time, their time, and the world's time. You know? So find those people that are already in, in, in the zone. All right? Or, like you're saying, you need to educate them. But do you have the time? Do you have the resources of trying to educate the people that don't want to be educated? Because advice, as we all know it, Nicole, is good when it's solicited. All right? If you start giving unsolicited advice, people block you. And you wouldn't want that, would you? Yeah? Every time you'll be giving us these faces. You'd be like, why don't you see what I'm seeing? Because people have different worldviews. All right? And guess what? Marketing will be easy if everybody thought the same way as you do. So you want to make sure you're going around with people that actually have the same worldview as you. People that actually need the products that you're selling. They actually have the ability to spend for that product that you're selling. And they have a problem that your solution can fix. Otherwise, you're just human spam. You don't want that when you're walking down the road, people cross the road and, and, and they blank you just so that they avoid talking to you. Otherwise, you're going to be selling them whatever stuff you have this week. So what I'm going to advise you, Nicole, is to figure out, would you actually purchase what you're about to sell to the next person? Are they willing and able to continuously use this product without me instigating them every second day? And Ansley says, become the fisherman and not the hunter. With the right bait, the fish will come and easily and effortless. Nicole says, should I do a hotel meeting? Um, I'm not sure if I understand why you would want to be... Of course, people... People do business with those they know, like, and trust. So if you're going to meet somebody in person, then maybe they can see that they can understand you. A hotel meeting, I'm not quite sure. Is it a hotel foyer meeting or a hotel room meeting? That is open to interpretation, you know? So why would somebody want to meet you at a designated location? Can you not say what you want to sell to me over the phone within two seconds? Because if you're taking longer than that, then I don't need it. Because I'm not getting it. Alright? So that's just also what somebody's going through in their life. Everybody's living their life right now as we speak. And we're trying to put on more stuff for them to look after. Do they need it? Are they desperate for your products that they would come clamoring on your house and knocking on your house's door and say, Hey, Nicole, can I buy that stuff now? I'm ready. Educate them on what to want and create the demand before you go on and impose um, you know, your products onto people. Otherwise, you're blacklisted. And you wouldn't know why people are just falling off the radar because they're being annoyed by you constantly trying to sell them something they don't want. So sell to the converted. 
Are you, it won't be difficult, but at least it's an easier conversion, easier for you, easier for the person involved. Leave any person that you meet in a better position than you found them. You don't want them left with a bitter pill to swallow. Just because you want to move your own agenda. Be considerate. You're talking to people. You're dealing with human beings. They have feelings. They have motives. They have needs. They have wants. Are you actually serving a need? Their need? Or are you just moving your own agenda? Because if you're going in over your own personal items, people can see it. And when people notice there's nothing in it for them, they will ignore you and you will even question your own existence. So Nicole says, yes, I would over the phone. Absolutely. If you can, and if that phone call is also solicited and they have agreed to that phone conversation, then why not? But if you're going to be spamming people, please don't. All right? So make sure that Every time you're doing a transaction with any human being, you really want to leave them in a better place and that your existence has actually made their day better. That way, you will notice that the good people, the good things, the good karma will come to you. Because if you make it your, your own mission to annoy people out there just to move your own agenda, I don't know how long you would last in this business. And whatever you're going to be doing, make sure you absolutely love what you're doing. You know why? Because you're going to be in it for a very, very long time. You know, I know some of you might be surprised, you know, to, to, to hear me talk about this. But one of the things that you really got to do is you got to love what you do. And your enthusiasm about it, your, 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 your tenacity in trying to help other people to have the same happiness that you have, it will be the biggest marketer than you saying anything to anyone. Because people want what they cannot have. And if they can see it in your eyes, they can hear it in your voice, they will be tripping, stumbling and falling on your door wanting what you have. Do you know the amount of people I turn down because I can just see that their business is not going to help me in the long run and neither am I going to be able to help them just because they don't have that oomph in them. And I turn them down. So you do something that you are passionate about. I was lucky. I found something that I, I completely turned me on as soon as I got in there. And that's why this is so exciting for me. And then... Um, Sometimes I hear a cry for help with those that fear losing their job just because they can't give out personal information. You know what? Some people will just continuously cry. I'll tell you something. It's easy. It's, it's very hard for people to laugh at a joke twice. Yeah, if a comedian repeats the same jokes, people stop laughing. But people are happy to dwell on their misery over and over and over and over and over again. Yes, you might have the right product, but is the person willing and able to move away from where they are to where they want to be? Because maybe in their worldview, they were not destined for much. They probably don't see themselves succeeding. So who then are you to try and convince them if they don't see it in themselves? Otherwise, you're probably just annoying them. So that's the reason why when you put out content like this, those that want to watch it on demand will then figure out, can I then go out and see what's going on there? Yes, we want to help people, but there's some people that don't want to be helped. You know? You know, even, even in the Bible, as long as the Bible takes, Moses was supposed to take the people from, from uh, Egypt to, to, to the promised land. Can you imagine what was going on in, in their head? They're like, oh, this is too long. Oh my God, now we're so hungry. Oh, Moses, why did you even bother? They were complaining, complaining, complaining. But Moses was trying to take them away from slavery. They would have rather gone back to their slave masters than go to the promised land where there was milk and honey. How many of them were trying to fight against Moses? How many of them were not even helping Moses move the crowd? 
They were always complaining, ah, oh, Moses. And that's why the plague started hitting them. Because God was tired of them. I'm sorry I went all religious with you, but all of these stories about people that don't want to be helped are everywhere. Even God told Adam or Eve not to eat that fruit. Don't eat it. It's going to ruin you. Guess what? They just want to do it. Because that's where they feel they're supposed to be. So whatever you're going to be doing, Nicole, convert the already converted. It's easier for you. It's easier for your, for your stress levels. You're too young to be dying of stress over people that don't care anyhow about what you've got to offer. All right, those that are just tuning in, thank you so much. Type in the number one if you're getting value from this. Um, you know, obviously, it's been a long 45 minutes so far. It's not easy being live and answering questions like this. I just really want to make sure that I'm helping. And um, if you've got any questions, please keep bringing them on, um, you know, so that we can um, answer them. Um, as this is the first episode of the Ask and Prosper Show in 2018. I'm loving where I'm at. I'm loving how the business has grown. I'm loving what we are actually doing for the Australian business um, owners. And if you're, um, you know, going to be wondering how Facebook is going to be helping you, type in the letters D I R, and I can give you a link so that you can get uh, connected on our Australian business online directory that we're helping small businesses like yours to actually reach a targeted audience um, without Facebook hiding your posts, um, you know, online. All right. So, you know, at the end of the day, we just sit around here, answer whatever questions you might have pertaining to how to run a business, how to actually make a profit and how to actually enjoy working in that business. I'm not saying I'm a guru. I'm not saying I know a thing or two, but I work with a lot more businesses to have a lot more, um, you know, templates or precedents that can, you know, constitute me being able to give advice that you can literally um, use for your business to, to actually, um, um, you know, um, you know, go ahead in 2018. And I must also say viewers discretion is advised. The, you know, the, the, the views that I'm putting out there are my own views. They are not verified by any other leading source. So if you find that this is not something for you, please just, um, you know, walk away. It's just that um, I really want to help you, um, you know, uh, by actually helping you. But also, this is the way I think this is my world of view. All right. So the one thing that I was uh, still talking about is just having passion in what you're doing. All right. There are going to be a lot of people doing the same thing as you do. Um, you're going to be compared on price. You're going to be compared on consistency. You're also going to be compared on passion. Or also you're going to be compared on knowledgeability of that said, um, you know, um, you know, particular industry. So some people spend a lot of time reading. Some people spend a lot of time, um, you know, um, um, just immersing themselves in that industry. Make sure it's something that you really want because people can tell whether you're just dabbling, whether you're just doing it for the money or, you know, whether you're just a one click wonder. OK, because there's so much choice out there in the world. So you want to make sure that your efforts are not going to be stifled by your lack of zeal. All right. So you really want to make sure that, um, you know, not doing what you love in the name of greed is very, very poor management on the part of you living a happier existence. All right. Why would you put yourself through a lot of stress? Why would you put yourself through a lot of um, hurt, um, you know, pain and other people that you're swing, stringing along. Maybe it's your family. Maybe it's those people that rely on you. If it's something that you're not 100% invested in. All right. So create your own rituals. Make sure you're really, really consistent and be intentional about your time, how you spend it and the energy that you exert in the universe. Because the more you really show the universe you want something, the universe is going to feel like it needs to fill that void. All right? Do you know what I mean? The more consistent you are within the habit, the universe is going to be like, I don't want to be embarrassed by not showing this person results. So let me give him what he's asking for. Because ask and you shall receive. All right, so be very intentional about the way you choose to spend your time, who you exert it to, and the energy you put out there in the universe. All right, 
So don't just do something just because it feels good at that particular time. Are you going to be there for the long haul? I particularly take, you know, very, very strongly to what I do because I'm, I'm working with people's hopes. I'm working with people's dreams. All right. When somebody puts out their website out there, when somebody puts out their business, they are, you know, risking their family. They're risking their future. They're risking everything else. So who am I to ruin that for them? All right. So at the end of the day, I really, really want that if you are going to go out there and you're going to be touching other people's, um, you know, uh, property, you're going to be touching other people's lives, you're going to be touching other people's well-being, do it with utmost, you know, care, grace and respect. These are other human beings that you are, you know, you know, you know, you, 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 you're, you're wasting their time, their money and their effort. And what Scott says, actions um, speak louder than words. Prosper, watching from Zanzibar. How are you going, buddy? Let me see if I can add you. Let me see if I can add you, my man. All right. I really want that you 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 succeed in whatever you're going to be doing. I really want that everything that you're going to be doing people would pay you back with that utmost attention that you deserve. All right. If there's anything that I can possibly do and if you're in Australia, please make sure you check out the Australian Business Online Directory and um yeah, subscribe to that because with the way Facebook is going to be treating pages, you might not be reaching as many people if you are not paying for it. So we've created a platform where you can actually create for and relate to your audience. All right. And make sure that you're actually putting out content that's meaningful. You're actually doing work that is meaningful, that people can actually relate to. And that you actually care for your results. You actually care about the outputs that you're putting out there actually consistent because you're dealing with people's livelihood don't take that for granted all right because you wouldn't want somebody to just come and play around with your money with your time with your attention with your effort so why would you be doing that to other people all right so this is the last um episode of this week the first week of january i'm really hoping that you guys um, you know, uh, well geared and have your goals in place for 2018. If there is any way that I can be of help, please don't hesitate to continue the conversation in here. And please don't also hesitate 
um, you know, to check out some of my work. I'm putting out a lot of work out there. I sell SEO services. I sell um, digital marketing services. Tell somebody, all right? If you're not in a position to purchase from me right now, just figure out how you can be of help. And um, yeah, yeah, bring as many people that I can also help, um, you know, so that they can also benefit from what I'm creating. You know, at the end of the day, this is all designed for us to have businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. And if you've watched this all the way through, um, you know, on YouTube, just please subscribe to this channel because every single day, except Saturday and Sunday at 2 p.m. at EST, we sit around and we're talking about how to actually help you create a business that's profitable and enjoyable so you can earn more money with less struggle. All right. I'm about to go in to a heavy meeting with new clients right now. So wish me luck. I hope my voice hasn't gone. <laughs> but if they still want more questions that I can entertain, guys, um, you guys have been fantastic. I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying the love. You could be anywhere else on the internet right now. There's two other billion profiles that you could be checking out. But thank you so much for spending the afternoon with me, spending this week. We're going to be in it for the long haul. So if you've missed this show, or if you're going to miss any other shows, just be mindful that Friday, 2 p.m. AEST is the Ask um, and Prosper show where you get to ask me questions and then I get to answer them. All right. I really, really, really want that you succeed in your businesses. All right. Yeah. And all those videos are on YouTube. Yes, sir. They are. All right. And I'm always putting out content out there. All right. All right. I hope you enjoyed listening to this show as much as I also enjoyed creating it for you. And um, yeah, let's catch up next week on Monday where we are going to be talking about how to help your business uh, to become profitable and enjoyable. And if you've watched this show up until now, thank you. Thank you so much. In the meantime, enjoy your weekend and let's, um, yeah, let's catch up next week. Bye for now.